is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and I just actually finished the Death Trooper event not too long ago and they just jam-packed this weekend with a bunch of special events and today we are going to be sending those nice fluffy creatures to the moon and back. Well, actually, I think they're already on the moon. They're on the forest moon, but we're sending them back to another moon. That is right. We are going to go ahead and teach these guys the lessons uh, with the tier two very hard battle. Now, the last time I made a video on this was back in July when they first released the event. And sometime between July and now, I must have completed the very hard battle because I have three stars in it. I don't remember. Must have been something I did a while ago. But today, we are going to go ahead, make this a cinematic experience, and do a full empire team against these lovely little creatures so we're not going to use droids droids are the easy way out my ig88 and ig86 could probably wipe them all out with their big burst damage uh, let me see how i want to do this see i have death trooper i don't have him geared up at all i'd love to have him geared up that'd be a lot of fun i think this is going to be the best we're going to do we're going to do emperor palpatine lead because he's the best leader i have i don't have darth vader zeta as of now so uh let's go ahead and <laughs> wish me luck i've seen um I've seen some uh, videos from other people who did this event way back when, and uh, this, yeah, this this buff that's right here, let me check it out real quick, yeah, Deadly, pretty much they have low HP, but they have massively increased damage, and you can't dispel it, so let's see if we can maybe wipe them out, got him, <laughs> who needs your little buff, you can't even stay alive for two seconds, watch this, Snowtrooper, most OP character in the game, and, oh, we didn't do much, oh well, I was hoping I could be hyped that up a little bit, and, alright, cool, we got that down, all right, let's go ahead and crush these little guys. I hmm, probably should have done that. I think that I think the third battle, if I remember this event, the third battle is the difficult one. Got him! And let's go ahead and wipe out. Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. See, the the good thing, I, I like how they you, they give you the choices between Empire or Droids because they're kind of kind of the opposite of each other. Droids are very low health, but uh, very high damage. That Empire character is kind of the opposite, with obviously the exception, uh, exception of TIE Fighter Pilot. Usually a lot of health, but um, but little damage. So let's see if we can maybe wipe out these little dudes. Alright, there we go, got him. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can maybe stun a few guys. And, oh, got him! I <laughs> wasn't expecting, wasn't expecting that. And, alright, see, I should have saved a lot of those big attacks for this battle. Uh, because Ewok Elder might be reviving all those little chumps. So, all right. Uh, okay, so we got those guys out. Let's see if we can try to get these Ewok Elders. Oh, I should have put Royal Guard in here. Ah. Oh, well, that, uh, that's probably going to bite me. Let's see if we can apply Ability Block. Snowtrooper can apply Ability Block on his basic, and bada bing, bada boom, that's how we do it. Now we just got to kind of zero down on these guys. Um, let's see. I think I might want to shock Tebow so he doesn't uh, go stealth on me. Got to keep him in my sights and there we go uh oh yeah i think one of my um biggest criticisms on these events like i remember i think the most difficult one for me is the the was the rebel one the one that required rebels and clones back then there were no free-to-play clones except um except fives for the most part and it was just super hard to beat i managed to beat it like on full auto and um with just stormtrooper hunt i wasn't even trying i was like i can't even do this i'm just gonna auto it and of course the second i auto the battle <laughs> they win they're like oh we don't need you we don't need you we can do it on our own so uh oh no no wrong, wrong dude wrong dude uh let's go ahead and see if we can stun got him there we go uh but yeah my make it my biggest concern especially for these tough battles especially for you guys who don't really have any geared up characters you somehow beat it just like how i uh, destroyed the not destroyed i barely made it through the the rebel slash clone event the rewards don't really seem all that good that could just be me i might be being i might be being a little picky here but um for such a difficult event for especially lower players the rewards don't seem all that good i, I remember they brought these events back a couple times and i just wasn't participating in them because they were just eh, too much work too little benefit uh here we go op character coming up and what ig88 what this it's all about snow trooper man let's see if we can just wipe out man we're just wiping out these characters and okay there we go so uh, i was you know it's kind of unfortunate i mean i, I kind of like how they're bringing all these empire events this weekend but it would have been cool oh come on oh that was unfortunate it would have been cool to have some time to gear up death trooper gear up um krennic um and, or at least get krennic because we don't even have no one has them unlocked just yet but, um, yep, that's just how it is. We're on battle seven right now. Oh, let's see. What do I want to do? 
Um, I mean, I, I probably, there's probably gonna, I'm actually pretty interested to see if someone out there could gear a Death Trooper all the way to max gear on day one. I know there's probably a lot of um, pay to win players out there that might just be super excited. They might just go ahead and do so. If there's a video out there that somebody has a maxed out Death Trooper in the uh, Empire or this Assault Battle, I would totally love to see that. So let me know if someone actually has that because I'm actually super curious to see how that would go. But for some reason, I imagine this to be a little bit harder. Um, for some reason, in my head, I imagine that um, like, I, like the Rebel slash Clone event that they had, I found that really difficult on the very hard battle. But this uh, might be because I have good Empire characters, but I was expecting a much harder battle. This is the one that I remember. Ewok Elder kept reviving all these guys, and um, Chief Chirpa kept giving everyone retribution, and this is where I died. So this might be where it gets difficult, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. See, awesome. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin, uh, he can actually get some pretty good damage out when he's with an all-Empire team. When he's not in an all-Empire team, that's when he kind of, he just, he's really bad. He doesn't do anything. But you, as you saw, he gains additional damage for each uh, Empire character with him. We'll check the percentage in a, sec in a second. All right, I think we should be good. We should be good here. Let's see if we can. Uh, I'm not going to use my, do I want to use my stun? Yeah, let's go ahead and just use the stun. I want to see if we can maybe stun these guys. Oh man, that was a waste. And we're not going to waste Coaling Blade on the Ewok Elder because I don't I don't think it's going to be enough to take him out. And uh, all that would do is remove his ability block, and then he would actually go ahead and um, revive uh, all those guys. We don't we don't want that happening because uh, I do know even though I make fun of the little fluffy dude, they can definitely still pack a punch, and I don't want that to uh, I don't want to be a prime example of a fail. And that's another bad thing about Grandma Tarkin. He just has such a low potency, he can't apply, like, anything. Even under Palpatine, he has a hard time still. You have to, like, really bump him up with mods. Oh! What? Oh, man. Ah! Oh, the little creatures came back to life. Um. Oh, man. Let's see. Okay. All right. We got this. We got this. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get juiced up. And... I don't know. I don't know. Got him. Let's see. Can we get a, a double got him? Got him! There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I, I think I forgot. Uh, Chief Chirpa, when... Uh, I, don't, I don't I can't remember. I have to read the description. But I think it's either when Ewok Elder dies or Chief Chirpa dies, all the Ewoks come back to life. So I'm not sure if that was the case here. Uh, but so far... All right, we're doing okay. I was expecting to have a failed video and have you guys laugh at me. But uh, it seems like this is going way better than I expect. I think maybe the reason why I'm thinking it's so difficult because the last time I did this event, I don't... I don't think I had Palpatine. I can't remember. The, the video that I posted, I for sure did not have Palpatine because that was back in July of last year. And, oh, deflected. How do you deflect it with your little stick? Oh, whatever. And there we go. There we go. We go, went ahead and completed the event. Let's see what rewards we get. And we got a bunch of Ewok shards. Not even that many. It's like three, two, two. And um, some Mark VI Nubian scanner pieces. And another Mark VI... Uh, a salvage for hollow lenses so not that much hundred fifty thousand credits i mean it was fun it's just something to kind of fill in the space something to give you uh just something that gives you something to do over the weekend it would just be nice to um go ahead and do this and i i just so you guys know uh people ask me this when uh for these other events i do not recommend spending the hundred crystals to <laughs> refresh this if you don't get much unless you really want an ewok and you're about like two stars or two shards from unlocking him or maybe you're two shards from seven starring him then maybe but i still think 100 crystals is way better to save it for your for your daily energy needs so that's my opinion guys do what you like of course it's your game it's all about having fun and doing what you like to do but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed all my empire characters going to town and squeezing the life <laughs> that sounds so gruesome uh, squeezing the life out of these little guys <laughs> anyways we'll talk again soon guys so please as always like comment down below and subscribe and we will talk again soon Peace out. Peace out.